Hey DVR Tech fans, we're here today to talk about the Threadripper 1950X build I did. You guys may have seen in the last video, uh, did about Threadripper for CPU mining and, and really what led me to this wasn't CPU mining, it was kind of building the ultimate gaming slash mining rig with 64 lanes of PCIe connectivity. We can hook up multiple graphics cards at full bandwidth enabling some killer SLI. Plus, we can use those same cards for mining when we're not around, right? So stay tuned and look at the various settings we use to get the maximum performance. So this is a full-blown Threadripper miner by day, combining three Vegas, a 1950X, and a pretty awesome gaming rig at night. So we're talking a score that ranks better than 96% of most results on 3D Mark. So I think that's pretty impressive. The first thing I set out to do was to increase the CPU speed to Threadripper. The stock performance at uh, 3.4 gigahertz just was not quite enough for me. So we upped that to four gigahertz as the default Threadripper speed. And we managed to do that at 1.25 volts. So my Threadripper build has two hard drives in it. One dedicated to mining and one dedicated to gaming. So let's talk for a minute about the mining hard drive and then we'll move on to the settings I applied there. So the primary boot drive is actually the mining OS, I call it. And it's running Surfer 2016 on a small 60 gig SSD. Don't judge, the 60 gig SSD was like 20 bucks on sale at Best Buy. So there was not a lot of money spent. You do not need an SSD. So on the mining side, I have a C drive startup folder that launches startcomputer.bat. I just want to take a look at that and show you guys what I've done here. The start computer file uh, basically just sets its path. It allows some time for me to cancel out in case I'm having an issue. So I can uh, just kill the pop-up when it happens with the command prompt. Then disables the Vegas, waits five seconds, and then re-enables the Vegas. This is actually an important part. You will not get full hash if you don't do that. From there, we just launch XMR and start mining. Now, after that, I like to pull up the Son of a Tech pool and watch where we're at on Sumo. So inside of the mining OS, we need to tweak the video cards by increasing the speed of the CPU and memory and dropping the voltage. So we're gonna try to hit 1000 megahertz with a voltage of 905. And then we're gonna adjust the memory to 950 megahertz with a voltage of 900. Also note that my minimum fan speed is set to 3100. That's important to maintain stable results. If you don't set your minimum fan speed, you will not be able to hold this stable. So a few tips for a minor OS if you're trying to make a dedicated one yourself. First, if you're CPU mining, make sure you have the account that you're using for mining added to the lock pages and memory setting in the local computer policy. This allows the miner to allocate all the RAM that it needs to perform mining without the OS trying to make decisions about what should be in RAM and what shouldn't. The second thing is, if you're going to pull up Chrome, I like to pull up sonofatech.com and, and see the real-time statistics on the pool and just leave that up on my monitor. If you're going to use Chrome at all, make sure you turn off hardware acceleration. Trying to use hardware acceleration while your GPU is dedicated to mining with its GPU power turned down will cause mass screen corruption. It's just generally unpleasant. So to avoid that, turn off hardware acceleration so that that burden is placed on the CPU and the GPUs can stay focused on mining. So we're going to talk about the gaming OS. And this really isn't anything special. I'm not going to show too many screenshots of it. It's really just a standard Windows install. The only thing that's special about it, it is not set as the default boot OS. So if my machine decides to reboot, it automatically goes back to mining. My startcomputer.bat runs automatically and it resumes mining Sumo. I'm going to tell you right now, three Vegas do not equal a 1080 Ti. 
It's just not true. If you're going to invest that kind of money purely for gaming, the 1080 Ti is probably the better way to go. Two of them in SLI will easily defeat this system. What they won't do, though, is get 1800 hash per card. So when it comes to XMR mining, these Vegas really own it, and the 1080 Ti just can't touch it. So this is really where we start talking about that balance of, yes, this is a mining rig, but yes, when I'm home, I want to pop on the Oculus with it. I, I want to pump on some games and it works great for that. I really have no complaints. It's hitting 60 frames per second on anything I've thrown at it, if not higher. So it's not bad at gaming, but this is not what I would go for a dedicated gaming rig. A mixed rig though, it really does seem to work well. Well, there you have it, DVR Tech Gear. Take a moment to like and share below. Thanks.